Good morning, Ron Ray here with Turning 65 Solutions. And for this morning's video, we're gonna answer a question we get quite often, and that question is, do I have to pay a copay with Medicare? And the uh, to answer that question, we need to first define what a copay is. So we've got a great article on our website here at Turning 65 Solutions. Uh, the website's www.t65s.com. Um, but let's just go right here to the definitions in this article and talk about what a copay is and let's get that defined. So there's different types of cost sharing um, that are involved with insurance and that includes Medicare. The first one that you may be familiar with is your premium. That's the amount that you pay monthly uh, just to have the insurance company, in this case Medicare, uh, take on some of your uh, risk. And then after that, there may be a deductible. Now a deductible is amount that you have to pay before the insurance company uh, starts paying anything on your behalf. And then next would be two different types of cost sharing. Uh, they sound similar and they're, they're sometimes confused. They're not really interchangeable, so let's, let's define them. The first one would be co-payments. Now that's what you're familiar with. A co-payment is a fixed amount, usually a, a fairly low amount uh, that you are required to pay for any services. So the, the most common that you're familiar with is your doctor's office visit copay. So if you go see your family doctor, you might have a copay of $5 or $10, maybe $25, maybe even $0 on some Medicare Advantage plans. But a copay is a fixed amount. It's set, it's in paper, it's in writing in the plan documents, and you can see and not be surprised when you go to pay that copayment. The next kind of cost sharing that we deal with is called a coinsurance. Now, a coinsurance is a percentage. So it's often um, the 80-20 that you're familiar with. So that's a coinsurance. So Medicare is paying 80%. Your coinsurance is 20%. So that's the difference between those two. A copay is a fixed amount. A coinsurance is a percentage. So um, if you go to your doctor and you have a copay, regardless of what the doctor bills, you're going to pay a fixed amount. If you have a coinsurance, uh, we often see these in hospital settings or uh, out, other outpatient services like maybe MRIs or, or durable medical equipment. If you need a wheelchair or, or something like that, you might pay a coinsurance of 20%. So if that, um, it, what, whatever that provider bills, you're going to be responsible for 20% of that amount. So now that we've got those defined, now we can answer the question, do you have to pay a copay with Medicare? And the answer is yes, you absolutely have cost sharing. The government doesn't just pay your health care 100%. You have to share in that cost. Now with Medicare, uh, typically on Medicare Part A, which is your hospital coverage, you're going to pay a co-pay. Uh, first of all, there's a deductible uh, for Medicare Part A. So if you go into the hospital, you have Currently, in the year 2021, when we're at right now, the deductible for Part A is $1,484. If you get in the hospital for several uh, weeks and, and there's, a, there's a graded copay after that, so if you're in the hospital for more than 60 days, now you're going to start paying $371 per day copay. So that's a fixed amount. All right, and it goes on from there. Where we see a coinsurance is with Medicare Part B. So for your doctors, and anything that happens outside the hospital, you're going to be responsible for a minimum of 20%. Now, there's a few doctors that are able to bill you an additional 15%. We'll talk about those in another video. Those are called non-participating providers. But for the most part, you're going to be responsible for 20% co-insurance on Medicare Part B. So we've got a great article. I know that this topic can get confusing. Uh, go to our website. Uh, t65s.com. We've got a great article there that explains this in detail and how to avoid or lower some of those cost sharing um, responsibilities that you have, co-pays and co-insurances and deductibles. And I'll put a link to that article in the video description down below. Also, if you enjoyed the um, information in this video, give us a thumbs up down on the video below. That helps YouTube get this video out to other people who are searching for the same information that you are today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we do upload a new helpful video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, have a great day. Thanks, folks. Bye.